Uh, today we are going to check the um, position control mode. I'm going to introduce uh, the position control and the related parameter and how to set it. Uh, position control is one of three kinds of uh, control mode. Uh, this is this is a very commonly used mode in industry. Uh, in case of position control mode, very accurate control is available. So therefore, if the system requires precision, efficiency, and accurate movement, position control would be the appropriate option. In position control mode, the input for control is pulse. And by the number of pulse, the moving distance and speed are determined. From here to here, there are pulse, like this, and they determine the distance, moving distance. So you can think of that the number of pulses is a moving distance, like this. And if the number of pulses has any certain types of unit, for example, in this case, the unit is the second, this value will be the velocity. So the frequency, or the speed of so motors or RPM are uh, all the terminologies uh, that are related to the speed. Uh, there are two types of position control modes. Uh, first one is uh, cyclic synchronous position mode. Uh, we call this CSP mode. And the second one is profile position mode, which is called uh, uh, PP mode. Uh, the big difference between them is the PDO update from the master. As in CSP mode, the driver renews the target position at every cycle. At every cycle, it renews target position. However, in case of PP mode, the profile is generated by drive internally. Uh, let's say that we have uh, this kind of moment here. Let me see. Uh, for example, Let's say that the vert vertical axis is for velocity and the horizontal axis is for time. And we need this kind of movement. So let's say that we need the, this, the system to move like this. Uh, in the PP mode, we can set the acceleration and the uh, we can also set the deceleration here like this or you can set the velocity constant velocity acceleration and the deceleration so in the pp mode we can set the acceleration deceleration and by setting the slope in the time 
and the, as you know, as you know, the this area. This area will means will mean the position or moving distance, and this will be determined by the PP mode setting. Mm, however, uh, regarding the CSP mode, regarding the CSP mode, uh, there is the cycle of PDO update, like. Uh, This is the cycle. This is PDO of this cycle, and at every uh, PDO cycle, the driver renews the target position. So uh, the position control mode has uh, this kind of uh, control mode, but the correct mode selection uh, depends on the system circumstance. For example, if the uh, cir if the mm, circumstance of the system is not appropriate for the stable communication between the master and drive. Maybe the PP mode will be the better option. So this is the basic diagram of CSP mode. It shows the operation process of CSP. And I'm not going to explain all steps here, but I would like to check the parameters which are required to be set for position control and the functions of uh, parameters. Uh, you see the mm, these parameters. They are all related to position control mode, and uh, this one and the position window. something like this you need to set for CSP mode and uh, this is the basic diagram of profile position mode it shows the operational process of PP mode PP mode has some uh, different parameters from CSP mode they are here And today I'm going to explain the different parameters only because the, there are a lot of parameters here but the, most of them are very basic parameters so if you need uh, more information I recommend you uh, check the manual or contact me via email or other ways And uh, this is the example of a profile in PP mode. And this is like we have uh, checked in previous page. As you know, there is the uh, acceleration acceleration section and uh, deceleration section and the constant velocity section. These parameters are set uh, by the uh, users depending on the system and this is for only profile position mode. So maximum profile velocity is to limit the velocity and the profile velocity you just set the uh, latent velocity and or uh, your target velocity and there you can set the profile acceleration or profile deceleration here 
And these parameters are the common parameters between two kinds of position modes. Uh, they are called uh, position window and uh, position window time. Basically, uh, these parameters are to set the area that uh, determines the in position or not. Uh, let's see this. Uh, this is the graph for target position. The vertical axis for position and the horizontal axis is for time. And in this graph, you can see this area. The horizontal axis is the position window time. And the, the vertical axis is the position window. When the position arrives, in this area, the drive indicates that the motor just arrived at the target position. And if the position remains for position window time, I mean the period of this time, the status word is set to value 1, which means it reaches the target position. So uh, the setting determines the area that the target position should be. And there is one more difference between SCP and uh, PP mode. The this is about the movement command. It has three different kinds of modes, the single set point, and the immediate change of set, and change of set point. The basic concept of this function is the how it operates when it takes new command. So the first operation is this. Uh, in this mode, the completion is necessary. So when it reaches the target position, like this, uh, the velocity reaches zero. Then the complete signal is sent to upper controller. And therefore, the new command initiation is delayed until the complete signal is sent. So as you see the this is the new command, but it is delayed until the complete signal output and then initiating new command. So these parameters are for uh, the uh, to set that this mode and uh, you need to check these parameters and uh, the value like this. Uh, however, the immediate change set is different. After receiving new position, new position command while driving to the target position, it drives to the new position regardless of the existing target position. I mean, uh, actually, you see the this part. That means the, uh, it didn't not finish it the first command. But if there is new command, it takes the new command and the initiate new command immediately like this. So it changes the velocity like this. In this mode, the uh, drive takes the new command immediately so it doesn't send the complete signal to a controller at this time. But, and uh, when the new command is completed, you see and the arrived, the target position, 
and then it sends the complete signal. And like the previous page, they are the parameters which are related and your setting should be like this for this mode. The uh, last mode is the change of set position. Uh, this function is uh, has the a little bit different from in the immediate change. In this case, the, after receiving a new position while driving to the target position, it initiates the new command after reaching the existing target position. So. Uh, this is the new new command, but but in this mode, the drive could not finish the first command, so it doesn't it doesn't initiate the new command. But after reaching the previous target position, it initiate the new command. However, the the important thing is that there is no zero velocity. The velocity doesn't reach zero even when it reaches the target position. However, it initiate the new command here. And when it completes the old commands, the complete signal is sent to master. And it reaches uh, zero velocity here, not here. And they are parameters which are related for uh, this mode, and you need set in this way. Uh, so these parameters are all parameters for position mode, but red marked parameters are for PP mode only. Although there are many parameters I could not uh, explain in this limited time and in this video, but if you need more detailed information for the functions, and you can check the manual so please refer to L7 and H manual.